Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CJJD. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, quite the eventful day on this one, not only from the price action standpoint, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. And really, things looked like it was game over. I mean, volume had totally dropped off. But then all of a sudden, things got very interesting the last 30 minutes of the day because you can see right there, volume came in nicely. And then, of course, got the very big green candle there. So maybe just maybe, you know, life is back and this thing is going to get bigger. So I just want to map out some areas of support and resistance moving forward. And the first level, you know, that in my mind is very important is, you know, if this thing is the start of something bigger, well, then it's not going to go back to where it was, meaning the price needs to stay above $1.16. Because if the price were to actually come down to $1.16, and then break down below it. I mean, think about what that's literally doing to the price. From a logistic standpoint, it's putting the price right back inside of this range where it just was, which again is the exact opposite of being the start of something bigger when all of a sudden the price is back to where it was. So very simplistic reasoning there in terms of why that dollar sixteen mark very important. And as you can see here, you know the price bounced off that level several times, uh, including that last thirty minutes right there. But point here being that is certainly going to be a, a very important level of support to watch moving forward. If this is the start of something bigger, then another way to measure all that is well let's see if the price can start to break some areas of resistance so the first area of resistance that the price would need to break up through if this is going to get moving going to be right up there at the dollar 27 mark and then this is where things get interesting because next level of resistance not until all the way up there at a dollar 38 now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that if a dollar 27 is broken that within two seconds it's going to be up to a dollar 38 my point here is that the price just you know really in the chart i should say spaces out quite a bit in terms of those areas of resistance. So it definitely presents a very interesting dynamic. So let's see how this one plays out on Wednesday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.